Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a lookup form that will trigger a query to just filter records depending on what's on the form. So first of all, I'm going to create a blank form. So if I go create blank form in design and I need to create a combo box, which is going to be my lookup. Like so. The wizard comes up and it's this top option I want and I want to look at the customers. This is a customers table, so customer name, that's all I want. Next, I'm not bothered about sorting, next. It hides the ID field but that's what I want, customer name. Next, and it's put that as a title, that's okay, and then finish. Now. If I just look at this, if I go into a view, that is just a drop down of all the customers from the customers table, wherever the customers table is there. If I just double click on that, that's just this list. Now, what I need to do is go back into design. I need to name this box in properties. So let's get the property sheet up. And at the moment it hasn't got a name, but I'm just gonna call it customers. So that is now called customers. So what I want to happen is, if I just go back into this, let's save that, call this um, FRM lookup. So what I want to happen is when I select a customer from this list, I want a query to look at that and filter it by this. So the query just wants to say Mr. S Saxton or whoever I select from this form. So let's just close that down for a minute and create a query. So create query design, just get rid of the property sheet. And what I need to add is the customers table and the book table. And the sales table, which will join these all together and if I put sort this out a little bit so that's in the middle the sales table so from the customers I want customer name and then in fact let's go for let's not do customer name let's do customer ID because that'll bring the name down and book title let's have a quick look at that so that just that gives me what I want. Okay. Now the criteria under customer ID needs to be the combo box on the form. Now I'm going to use the builder to find that. Open up, get onto the forms, form lookup, and this is the field I want. Double click on that. So that is what it's going to be criteria so click OK to that that sits down there so if I save this query as QRY lookup as well let's see if, if this works close that down close that open the form lookup select my name and then open up the query lookup is next to it and it just displays my name now to take this one step further what you could do is create a report based on this query result now it's important that you have the actual end product displayed just watch this if I create a report based on that just on that so create report it comes about with nothing because there hasn't been any interaction between the form and the query so what you need to do is don't want to save that is select this run the query so you've got an answer and then from this screen create the report so I'll do that create the report same thing there's my report yes I'll do save this one I'll save this as RPT 
that's going to be the report. So now I can now I can close the query, and now if I select somebody else, Brown, and then RPT query lookup that one, Brown. So then what you do if I close that down, you can create a command button on here to just skip that step really. If I go back into design, command button, draw, and then you're selecting the process. You could also create a macro for this, which is obviously just as good. I'll do open as opposed to preview. So this one, that one in fact, query lookup, next. And just put from report there, or whatever you want to put there. And then just finish that off. Save, have a look. So now if I select somebody else, Mr. Jones, I click on run report, it does that one person. He's got one book. If I go back to my name, run report four. Obviously, this report needs fixing. It's not great at the moment. It's just the wizard, and they always sort of crush things in, so you need to go and design and fix that. But this is how you're doing it. Run report. Mr. Green's bought two books. Now, just to recap what we've done here, we created a blank form with a combo box on it, and we named this. We're going to design. We named this box. I've called it customers. So you need the property sheet open. And then what I did, I went to the query. If I go find the query, query lookup, this one, get into design. Get rid of all these extra panes. Don't need them. I used the builder to get this information from the form. Now, if you want and you know how to type that, you can just type that as well. But it's just as easy to go through the builder and select the items because it puts the right syntax in there. So that's what I did. I went through this list, found what I want, double clicked on it, put it up there. That is information. So this query's criteria is looking at that information from that form combo box. And then we close that down and come out of this. Yeah, that's just on about the width. Once I've got it working, I'm creating a report and the report must be created on a finished query not like that so you see the difference if i run the query now it pulls that information on you then create the report at this stage so it's got some information and then it'll work for you so hopefully that was of use for you if you want to create these sort of parameter lookup forms as they're called thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one